This is Mel Allen, your official film sports reporter, bringing you the highlights of 1947's major football spectacle. 59,000 frantic fans pack the stands at South Bend as Notre Dame takes the field against Army. Mack Mull kicks off for the cadets, and Notre Dame's Terry Brennan takes the ball on the three-yard line and races for the goal while his teammates clear the way down the field. A sensational 97-yard run puts Brennan over for a touchdown to start the game while Army coach Blake watches ruefully. Notre Dame soon advances again as Johnny Lujak tosses the ball to Leon Hart for a snappy gain of 25 yards. Battling the tough West Point line all the way, Swistowicz fights his way for another eight yards for the Irish. It's Terry Brennan again, scoring another thrilling touchdown on an off-tackle play. Notre Dame 13, Army nothing. In the fourth quarter, an end run by Army's Bobby Stewart brings the ball to the four-yard line. Rowan smashes to the one-yard mark. And then on the next play, it's Rowan again, over for the touchdown. The Army's first against the Leahy coach Notre Dame team. Coach Leahy doesn't like it, although Notre Dame is ahead 20 to 7. And the Irish gallop again, Swistowicz cleverly picking off 18 yards around the Army club. Larry Coutre is next to score for the South Benders, smashing off tackle for 11 yards. And Notre Dame's final touchdown in its victory over Army, 27 to 7. A crowd of 50,000 in Dallas watch Southern Methodist make a quick start as Doak Walker passes to Dick McKissick for a gain of 15 yards to the Texans' two-yard strike. Dashing around end, Paul Page scores the first Mustang touchdown just three minutes after the starting whistle. And now SMU calls on Gil Johnson to pitch a long pass. He does. Walker jumps high to take it, then sprints to the one-yard line for a thrilling 56-yard gain. McKissick then cracks through center for an SMU touchdown. In a drive to even the score, Bobby Lane of Texas tosses a 23-yard pass to Jim Kennedy. Lane's next flip to Gillery is good for a touchdown, but the Texans miss the extra point, and SMU wins 14-13. 49,000 jam Princeton's Palmer Stadium to watch Penn beat the Tigers. Evans' 15-yard run gives Penn a first down on Princeton's eight. Tony Manisi, playing a great game, goes over for Penn's first score. This time, Manisi takes the ball to the goal line where Princeton tries to steal it, but the attempted pigskin larceny doesn't work. Now Manisi carries the ball to a touchdown as Princeton tries once more to steal it. Too late. From his 35-yard line, Dick West of Princeton passes to George Sala, who starts running and doesn't stop for 55 yards, scoring Princeton's lone tally of the game. Bob Graham, Penn fullback, now carries the ball, nimbly evading the opposition, running 44 yards goalward when he's stopped by a tackle from behind. Passing for Penn is Bob Evans, whose toss is caught by Don Schneider, just one yard from Princeton's goal line. Bill Luongo scores. Penn beats Princeton 26 to 7. Before 42,000 cheering spectators, halfback Harry Zolborski gains 13 yards for Purdue against Notre Dame. Bob DeMoss, Purdue quarterback, throws a short pass to Zolborski for a touchdown, and Purdue ties the score in the first quarter 7 7. But the Irish fight back. Johnny Lujak getting away a fast pass that drops into Larry Coutre's waiting hands for a Notre Dame gain of 32 yards. Dropping back for another pass, Lujak finds his receiver bottled up, so Johnny carries the ball himself. A thrilling 33-yard run to a touchdown, and Notre Dame leads 13-7. It's Purdue's ball. George Papish punts, and the pigskin is taken by Notre Dame's Coy McGee who runs it back in a thrilling dash that carries him 40 yards. Just watch him go. Floyd Simmons goes over as Notre Dame takes Purdue 22 to 7. 
At Baltimore, Maryland, the eyes of 35,000 are on Pettit of Georgia Tech as he hurls a 17-yard pass to Broadnax on the opening play against Navy. Bob McCoy, Tech's rookie halfback, takes the ball and slips around in for a good run. Bob eludes Basinger, sending the midshipman sprawling into a pond of water and then romps 50 yards down the field to score a touchdown. And now it's Navy's ball, and Horn makes a neat flip to Al McCulley for an eight-yard advance. Horn passes again, sending a lateral out to Schwerferman, who races straight for the goal line, putting Navy ahead 7-6. to six. In the fourth quarter, Schwefferman takes the ball for Navy and fumbles as Broadnack makes a smashing tackle. Tech recovers on the Navy 35. With only a few minutes to go, Patton's 30-yard forward to Southard clicks, and Tech defeats Navy 16-14. At Columbia's Baker Field, at capacity 35,000, watch Art Fitzgerald's pass to Johnny Satir connect for a Yale first down. Now it's Tex first who flips one to Satir for another first down, part of an 83-yard march down the field. On fourth down, Billy Boo kicks a perfect 15-yard field goal, putting the Elis ahead 3-0 at halftime. Columbia's Lou Cussero tries a desperate long forward pass, but Fitzgerald intercepts it for Yale. Now the Bulldogs take the offensive. Fuchs carries a round end for 15 yards. Bandy Kirk cracks over for Yale. Columbia fights hard as Lou Cussero's aerial makes a perfect landing in Bill Swiecki's arms for a 27-yard gain. Yablonski climaxes an 80-yard Columbia drive with an exciting 27-yard touchdown run, but Yale upsets the Lions 17-7. An even more sensational upset is in the making when Army meets Columbia. Gustafson of West Point takes the pigskin for a spectacular 28-yard run. Rowan smashes through as powerful Army takes the lead. With Army ahead 14-0, the Lion roars defiance. Rossidi's toss to Swiecki is good for 32 yards. Lou Cussero carries the pigskin around in for Columbia's first touchdown. West Pointer Rowan takes the ball through the enemy tacklers just before the first half ends and carries it safely on a brilliantly executed 84-yard journey downfield to a touchdown, giving Army a comfortable 20-7 lead. Mack Mull's failure to convert doesn't worry the cheering cadets at this time. Rossidi's aerial to the end zone is received by Bill Swiecki in a phenomenal catch which Army disputes. But here official film shows in stop motion that the pigskin did not touch the ground before Swiecki caught it. And the football rules provide clearly that when an opposition player holds the ball in the end zone, it's a touchdown. Though Army is still ahead 20 to 14, Columbia fights on gamely. Rossidi sprints 21 yards to the 35-yard line. A Columbia touchdown will even the count. A conversion will put them ahead. Time is short. Rossidi fades to pass, throws to Swiecki, who makes another great catch. From the three-yard line now, Cussero plunges over to tie the score. Jablonski makes that extra point, and Columbia downs Army 21 to 20 in the greatest upset of the year.